Okay guys, we're gonna take this Ivor Johnson pistol. I uh, still hadn't determined the date on it yet. Still looking on that. It should be around 1931 to around 1941 that it was made. But we're just gonna take this. This is a 22 long rifle and it's a revolver, double action. We're just gonna take this thing apart here and re-blue it. So let's see how we do that. This tenite grip here, now you can damage this stuff. It's kind of soft if you go cutting into it. So what I've got here, here we go. My screwdriver kind of cut the end off of it and flattened it. So it's a little fatter on the end so that I can get in there and undo this. There's only one screw in the back here. And if you dig into this tenite, it just kind of cuts right into it. You can see a little bit of it flaking off there as we just pull this out. The first thing we want to do is get the grip off of it, right? so that we can disassemble this gun. I've never taken this gun apart before, so this will be new for me. We're gonna put these parts down here the way, the way we wanna put them back together. So as I take them off, I'm gonna kinda of line them up across here so I know how to put these things back together. So the three pins here on the bottom, we're gonna remove, remove these three pins. There's a screw here and here. This screw only holds the pin. Now, I did have to do a little work to this because you push here and you pull this so that you can take your cylinder out. So let's go to half cock and just slide that cylinder out of there. Let's set this to the side. To take it apart, look at the pins here. These two pins kind of stick out a little bit. I'd really like to cut those down some so that when I put it back together, they're nice and flush in there like this one is, but you can see there's no marring or banging or beating on these pins, but when you turn it over, you can see these pins have been smacked and hit against and kind of flared out a little bit. Got your screws here. So let's, let's take the pins out first. Since they went in this way, we're gonna push them out. So we're gonna turn it over, we'll put it on a block so we can push these pins out of here. Finally, that one was extremely difficult to actually get out. So I'm trying to lay them in the order, front pin, middle pin, back pin there. So out comes the trigger. And we've got this small piece here. Look at the orientation of it. There's a tiny spring in it right here, so be careful. I'm going to take a quick photo. Really not any videos on these things, how they come apart. So let's see about that hammer. I'm sorry, the trigger. Let's try to take the trigger out. Let's cock this to the back. Well, it won't stay back now but we should be able to pull it out. There we go, all right. So there's a spring in it here. So look at how it came out. Let's turn it over. Let's look at how this mechanism works. So look at the orientation of it the little spring comes around and this arm folds down. The little arm catches in this little lever here. I feel like this is gonna pull apart. It is, there's a little hole in it. So this thing's gonna come out. This piece moves, this one moves. Good look at the orientation of that so that we can put that back together. Snap a quick photo of it. Now let's take a look at this as we take it apart. Really easy. All right. 
let's take a quick peek at this. This tiny little wire comes up, sticks up in a hole here, wraps all the way around, comes forward and goes back towards the pin here. Part of our trigger. Small piece here. And look at the orientation of it with the trigger here. And as I pull it out, this is how it goes back in. Let's do a photo of that real quick. And let's lay these parts right up here. Now, take a look at this piece in here. So there's a spring, well, it's a piece of wire that's bent. The spring is here in the front of the firearm. Let's don't lose that. This little metal piece here, a lot of times they'll bend metal and put it under tension and use it as a spring. So let's get a quick picture of how that's in there and then we'll pop that out. All right, so let's pull this up. And let you see the orientation of it there. So we'll lay this here. Let's get this little spring out. Now I'll have to say these internal parts were not in as bad a shape as I thought they were gonna be in when I took this apart. This long spring. Our finished product, our Ivor Johnson in the Target 8. So we took it apart, we removed all the rust, we blued it and put it back together again. Looks like a brand new gun, doesn't it? It's actually a beautiful firearm. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safes. Till next time, folks. Take care.